What's going on YouTube? This is Guitar Worm here. I just wanted to teach you a quick little hack to help you get cheaper guitars online. So I've bought a lot of guitars. I've bought off eBay, I've bought off Kijiji, I've bought brand new obviously from stores and everything else. Um, but there's one way that's consistently worked in the last few years to help get me the best price. And that is from buying off Amazon, uh, I was going to say .com or .ca. I live on the border, so I buy from both on a regular basis, and, I've, and I just ship them to wherever I need to pick them up. So the trick, or the hack to, to get the best price is simply add the guitar to your cart, and they will often lower the price for you. So um, I'll show you some examples in a minute of multiple guitars I've bought that have been I've gone up to half price. I tried it before I made this video. I just tried it, picked a guitar, put it in my cart, and watched the price, and I'll show you the pictures of that, how it went down every day for a week. Now, I can't say this works with every brand. I've tried it, I've done it multiple times with Dean guitars. They tend to go on sale a lot on Amazon. I've done it with ESP LTDs. I've bought a few of those. Uh, what else have Ibanez I've seen has gone down in price. Typically, whenever I've done it with Gibson and Fender, when I've had it in the cart, I've not seen the price drop. Um, G&L, I just bought one at Christmas time at Jerry Cantrell, 50% uh, off. So, I'll show you some of the pictures, we'll talk about the prices, and you can try this at, on your own time as well and see if it works for you. Okay, so this is the G&L Jerry Cantrell. You see the regular price on there for $848, and I actually got it for $392 after leaving it in my cart. ESP LTD 1000, Viper 1000, regular price $880 for the kit. I paid $472. Uh, the Dean ML Wanted, regular price $799, and I paid $327. What's interesting about this Dean ML is the second that I bought the guitar, I watched the price jump back up to $7.99. Okay, uh, so this week, when last week I just added this Dean Cadillac 1980, and the original price was $508. And it went down, it went down a little bit every single day. You can see the prices on there. Um, it actually went down to about a hundred bucks within five days. Me checking the, checking the price every day. You can see the price changes that are popping up there now. This uh, Dean MAB3 kit uh, also was $330 something on sale. I threw it in my cart and it dropped down to $258 um, within a few days, a little bit each day. And it's actually gone back up since then, and I checked the Amazon price, and it was going for about 400 American, so 258 Canadian, and it was about 50% cheaper than the, on the U.S. side, too. So, guys, I can't tell you exactly how the pricing works. I don't know. I researched it. Amazon's well-known on the Internet, if you look into it, for... Uh, dropping their prices, having them go up and down every day when things are in your cart. And when these items are in my cart, that's me not even signed in as someone, so it's not like they know I buy a lot of guitars, although I'm sure they know who I am, because uh, they track everything. But that's me not signed in on my computer, just uh, items on the iPad in my cart, and that's the price dropping for that. Um, I've heard, well, sometimes maybe they know I'm shopping elsewhere, sometimes they probably track that I'm with their cookies and stuff that... I'm looking on eBay and everything else, so maybe they take me more serious than some buyers. I don't know. Like I said, with that with that Dean Cadillac that I just put in my cart this week, it dropped $100. I was not searching for Dean Cadillacs on any other websites, whereas with some of the guitars that I was seriously going to buy, the Jerry Cantrell I bought at Christmas time, right? I was searching multiple websites. They would have known, you know, they would have tracked through my computer and internet usage. I'm sure that I was shopping everywhere and they kept lowering the price. Um, and maybe it's a fluke, but like I said, it's happened to me multiple times to the point where I can pretty much guarantee if I put certain guitars in my cart with Amazon, I'm going to watch the, dr the price drop significantly. So, uh, I used to buy a lot off eBay, and now I'm finding Amazon is probably the, uh, the, the hardest price to beat because their price tends to come down. So, give it a try and uh, let me know in the comments below if it works for you. Okay, thanks a lot. Guitar Worm out.